Good morning. It's Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. It's another awesome day to be creative. I'm out here in our natural plant garden, in our, in our local plants here at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. We've set it up so that it's friendly to bees and butterflies and insects and the local birds. It's awesome. And I was just appreciating the rugged beauty of this plant and thought this is going to be my subject today. What am I looking at? The front light, the way the light is hitting the purple flowers and the shadows on the right side. I think it'll probably end up to be a black and white when I'm done. So what angle do I want? So I'm looking here at the background, the brick wall behind it. So this is my angle. So I'm going to bring my tripod to right about here. So I need to add about six or eight inches to the legs of the tripod. Remembering that if I'm going to use my 70 to 200 lens, the minimum focus distance is about three to four, three and a half feet from the subject. So that's right about here. And of course, now the wind starts, you know, that's always the way it is guys. So I've got my Gitzo tripod locked in here. 70 to 200 millimeter lens on the Nikon Z7 II, right? So my ISO is at 400, my f-stop's at 8 for now. I'm zoomed all the way into 200 and let's see what happens when I focus. I'm a little too close, so I'm going to back up just a titch, back up just a titch. And that's just about right. That's just about the right framing for me. I don't like the background because there's one of the uh, cross members in the brick wall, so I'm going to come to the left just a little bit to clean up the background. And there you go. There's my image. Now, on my Z7 II, I have a, a button that I have adjusted that's called Preview, so I can see the depth of field. So I'm going to hit the Preview button and check the depth of field at f8. I need a little more depth of field to keep the flowers in focus, so I've gone to f11 on that. With my focus here, I want to drop down just a little teeny little bit. Oops, one thing I forgot to do, because I'm on the tripod, I need to turn the image stabilizer off. So for those of you who are using image stabilizer, you want to turn it off when you're on the tripod. There we go, right there. That's awesome. I'm f11, 500th of a second. And now I'm going to try a little bit different focusing spot here to see how that works. And then I noticed I've got a dead flower here on the plant, right here where I want to photograph. So I'm going to take that guy and get rid of it. And get rid of it because it kind of ruins my composition. Now I have to wait for the flower to settle. It'll take a minute or so. Awesome, it's a lot cleaner image now. Very good, right there. Beautiful. And now I'm gonna take one and open the aperture all the way to f5.6. Because I wanna see what it looks like with a very shallow depth of field. Right there, beautiful. And now I've got my picture. I can't wait to process this at home and show it to you. But we've taken the creative steps we need to get the picture we want. Wow, all of this early in the morning, first rays of the sun, life is good. Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. Let's get out and be creative today. Make a picture and share it.